a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 Bronco Sport Badlands Edition in eruption green with ebony roast seats, seating for five, four doors and a hatch with a two liter EcoBoost engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. It also has navigation, a moonroof, and the glass opens independently of the tailgate really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned. We're going to have a look under the hood and inside and out. It has a two liter EcoBoost engine paired with an automatic transmission and it's a four by four. Let's have a look inside. The door as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. You also have the Beano badging for your audio system and memory for three drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar and this is ebony roast. It's just a really nice look to the seats and you've got like this ultra suede feel to it and you've got your buck and bronc there and the mats on the floor are embroidered with the Bronco Sport. When you want to release the hood you just pull two times no fishing around for the uh, release for that and you have the lift gate release lighting controls and then on the face of the steering wheel you've got your buck and bronc again off to the side is your lane keeping as well as your cruise control there's your volume located right there and you have your menu on this side and hands-free dialing you also have paddle shifters there's one on the left and the other one on the right and then this is a push start so my foot's on the brake keys in the pocket and we're going to push the engine start stop button so on your dash any important messages the odometer reading and the menu comes up so we can just get in there in the main menu so we've got select screens audio navigation phone settings and display setup so these all have sub menus and then in the center we've got our display screen this is just a protective cover and we have our audio we can touch on there and I'm going to turn down the fan a little bit. There we go. Sources, AM, FM, Sirius Satellite Radio, as well as Bluetooth. We also have navigation, so the map will come up. We can choose our destination. When we put the vehicle in reverse, and we can do this at any time, we're going to see our backup camera views. This is right off the bumper. There's your center line, and green, yellow, red is just telling you how close you are to other objects or vehicles when going in reverse. I'm going to put us back in a park for safety's sake. And then we can go back into the home button and that gives us more options again. We can go into our settings. So there's different options in there. Ford Pass Connect, your phone, general. You can change the measurements in there and the language. So we can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit or miles to kilometers, whatever you want to do. You've got automatic updates. Your display screen can actually be dimmed. Navigation again and lots of other features in there. Then your volume and tuner, your hazard lights. Here's your camera. So I am not in gear. And what this is doing is showing me what is in front of me. So I can have just a look without putting it in drive and see what's ahead before I even head out, which is kind of nice. We'll go back in there. And then down below we have our engine start stop, little cubby, put items there. And then down below is your dual climate control and dual heated seats and the heated steering wheel. There's your fan. And you have your front and rear defrost, your AC and max AC. And then you have a wireless charging pad, USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt place to put items. Here's your dial shifter, electronic parking brake, auto hold. So if you're on an incline or you're towing, you would put on your auto hold to keep you in place. A couple of cup holders, and then we have the GOAT modes, goes over any terrain. We have a hill descent, the four wheel drive, locking diff, and traction control. And as we go through the GOAT modes, we just dial through, there's normal. You see the icons change, eco, sport, slippery and watch the little ball it's moving around too mud ruts sand as well as rock crawl so depending on the road conditions what you're feeling like when you're driving and what the weather's like will determine what you want to be in at the moment so you have these different options to go through and then we have our armrest located right beside us. There's a USB-C and a USB and lots of room in there. Off to the side is your glove compartment. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror. You've got your lighting controls that are located here. And you have a universal garage door opener. And as well, there's a power screen as well as a power moonroof. So this just slides right open and the screen's tucked in behind there. And so you can move that around as needed and Enjoy the fresh air and blue skies today. And we've got a grab handle on the body, just making it easier to get in. 17 inch wheels, 
black mud flaps, the Badlands badging, and you also have the nice graphics on the side of the vehicle. Driver's side fuel cap, capless easy fuel gas filler, and in the rear you have the windshield wiper and your glass opens independently of your lift gate. And you also have backup sensors on your bumper, a backup camera just below the handle, and a trailer tow hitch. So when we want to open up the glass, there's a little arrow here and we just release it from here. I'm not going to do it because I want to open up the lift gate for you. So let's just push where it says door, opens right up. And you've got this nice all weather mat on the floor and you also notice they're on the back of the seat. So this just makes for easy cleanup. You're going to throw your wet gear or sandy gear back there. You're all set. You've got lighting controls, your 12 volt 110 and you've got another light control off to the side. There's hooks and tabs to be able to tether things. There's your spare tire and your funnel. And you also have your bottle opener. And then when you're ready to close everything up, there's a handle on the right or the left. Just put your hand in and pull down. That's now securely closed. You can lock everything up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. And speaker in the door as well as power windows. There's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. Easily bring down the seat just by pushing the button and you now have access to the back cargo area. You've got this nice all-weather mat on the floor and we have a seat belt minder off to the side. I'm just going to put it in there. On the back of the seats are also protective covering and you also have the anchor to be able to tether baby seats and then just get the seat a push back into the upright position because the seat belt's in the seat belt minder it is out of the way and doesn't get caught up in the center you have an armrest with a couple of cup holders carpeted mats on the floor and you've got these nice zippered pockets on the back in the center is your air vents usb-c usb plus a 110 volt up top in the front you have your moonroof dome lighting and hooks and handles off to the side. Front camera in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors, auto high beams, fog lights, tow hooks, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.